Hello everyone, Vince here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an invisible folder. I'm demonstrating this video on a Windows 7 machine, but if you have a Windows XP or Windows Vista machine, this process will work for you. Basically, I want to create this top secret folder as an invisible folder. I don't want anyone to access it but me, because inside this folder, I have my secret in here, and I don't want to tell anybody my secret, so I want to make this folder invisible. What do I do? Well, Basically, we're going to have to do a little process. And if you follow this video, you should be successful in creating an invisible folder. Let's get started. Go to the folder that you want to make invisible. So my top secret folder, right click the folder and click on rename. This is where your number pad comes in. You can't use the numbers that are on the top of the keyboard. You have to use your number pad on your keyboard because this process will only work with your number pad. Okay. So while holding down the alt key, type in 0160 and let go of the alt key. As you see here, the text disappeared. And after the text disappeared, click on enter. Okay, now we have to make the actual folder disappear. So what you need to do is right click the folder, click on properties, go to customize, go to change icon, and then go to the right, click on the right until you find a little blank space. And I found a little blank space here. So just choose the blank space, any one of these three, or wherever you find a blank space, and click on OK, and click on OK. Refresh, and your folder is now invisible. As you see here, there's a little marking there that represents my invisible folder, so I can move my invisible folder. Anyway, I'm going to move it to the top right hand of my desktop so no one can find that invisible folder. And it works like a normal folder. You can double click and you can access the files of this folder. So there's my secret, Vince's secret. Okay, and if you want to delete your folder, you can just drag that folder to the recycle bin on Windows 7. Now, here's the hard part. If you're on XP or Vista, you're going to have to take an extra step to delete this folder if you ever want to delete it. What you need to do is, in my case, holding down shift and right clicking the desktop and clicking on open command window here. Now, if you saved your invisible folder anywhere else, like your music, pictures or videos folder or documents folder, open the command window there by holding down shift and right clicking open command window here. If you didn't save it on your desktop. Now for the command window, you're going to have to type in R E N space apostrophe. And while holding down alt type in zero one six zero on your number pad apostrophe space and rename it anything you want. I'm going to simply rename it Vince. Click enter and close the command window. And as you see here, my folder has a name to it now. And if you want to delete it on XP or Vista, just drag it to the recycle bin and it should erase that folder with no problems. That has been creating invisible folders with Windows XP, Vista, and 7. Just remember if you're on XP or Vista, you're going to have to take that extra step opening the command prompt window for deleting your invisible folder. Email me at vince at vincebognot.com. Send me tweets through Twitter at twitter.com slash vincebognot. Save 25% off your next hover domain by using coupon code Vince by going to hover.com slash Vince or typing in V-I-N-C-E at checkout. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video.